up from slavery booker t washington in this module you will get an overview of the autobiography up from slavery and also learn about its author booker t washington an overview initially written and released as a serialized work in 1900 in the outlook a family paper up from slavery is a gripping autobiographical account of how booker born a slave struggled for his identity and a place for his black brethren in a white dominated america set against the backdrop of the american civil war it describes how booker and the other slaves felt lost as till then they did not even have an identity Slowly but steadily, Booker overcame obstacles and began his education at Hampton Normal, an agricultural institute in Virginia. After this, there was no looking back as Booker, under his able mentor, General Armstrong, taught and established vocational schools. The Tuskegee Institute in Alabama born in a stable and hencoop was a notable example of booker's meritorious work to help black people and other disadvantaged minorities learn useful vocational skills and as a race pull themselves up the autobiography reflects the highly positive and unbiased attitude of one who belonged to an aggrieved race when he mentions the generosity of both teachers and philanthropists who helped in educating blacks and native americans he describes how he tried to inculcate good hygiene and healthy habits and etiquette while helping them build their self esteem washington explained that by integrating practical training of the trades that the students would eventually take up to earn their living with theory the black people would become an asset for the white community and the country at large about the author though the exact date of booker t washington's birth is not certain it is believed that he was born on april 5 1856 on the burrows farm near hales ford virginia He was born into slavery where his mother was the plantation cook and that made him the property of the same owner. His struggle began after emancipation. He worked in the salt and coal mines and once he persevered to reach Hampton Institute there was no looking back in the education route that Booker charted for himself and his community. due to his excellent oratorial skill with great effect he was offered to run for government posts but he turned down such offers because he wished to remain an educationist booker married three times all three of his wives were partners in his educational mission he has a daughter porcia and two sons booker talia ferro and ernest davidson Booker died at the age of 59 on November 14, 1915 in Tuskegee. In this module, you have got an overview of the autobiography Up from Slavery and also learned about its author, Booker T. Washington.